Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great week so far. Right behind me is the Church of Prince William Sheldon Parish, built in the 1700s in ruins. Um, I was at the Church of Ease the other day. Now we're at the Church uh, of Prince William here in um, Sheldon in South Carolina. And I just wanted to take advantage of these beautiful, stunning, breathtaking locations. And, you know, it's the church may be in ruins, but the church is just a building. The, you can tear down any building you want on this earth, but the temple of Jesus Christ will never topple, will never fall. It's within all of us, and when he comes back down, he's going to restore all these temples to their glory. So, let's get started with our topic this morning from today.refrainmedia.com. And it is clothed with Christ. And we're going to be reading Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 through 17 from the English Standard Version of the Bible. Let's get right into it. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetous, covetous, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these two once walk, in these you two once walked, when you were living in them. But now you must put them all away: anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices, and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its Creator. Here, there is not Greek or Jews, circumcised or uncircumcised barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on then has God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against the other, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the, world, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with all thankfulness in your heart, in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So a friend told me that she wakes up feeling down, that when she wakes up feeling down, she puts on some of her best clothes. That can help her feel like celebrating, she says, and it will often improve her day. The Bible describes how being made new in Christ is like putting on new and special clothing. In Revelation 7, 13, and 14, we read that God's people are given white robes to wear, washed in the blood of the Lamb. Galatians 3, 27 says that all who are baptized have been clothed with Christ. In Colossians, we are encouraged to clothe ourselves with compassion, humility, kindness, gentleness, and patience. These qualities are like all the pieces in a matching set of clothes. Did you notice that Paul names these articles of clothing after giving us a long list of vices that need to die, such as sexual immorality, lust, evil desires, greed, anger, rage, malice, and filthy language? He says, in effect, get rid of your old, dirty, smelly clothes so that Jesus can give you clothes, new clothes of life. Then, over these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. And what's the result of this change of clothing? Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. When we're dying to live, Jesus shines through us what are some of the things that you should die should, should die in you today in which article of clothing will you put on in christ let's pray jesus thank you for clothing me with yourself help me to live like you amen 
as I stand here in this actual absolute stunning surroundings, and I know there's a lot of noisy cars goes by, I can't help but think of the the greatness of Jesus Christ. Um, then the and the analogy of the clothes we wear is absolutely spot on here. Um, this is a building. This is clothes. Right? This is clothing. The building may be grand, but what's inside can be ruined. We need to put on we need to get rid of those those old clothes. Put on the clothes of purity, the clothes of royalty that Jesus Christ provides today. If you're and I'm going to jump back here to Colossians real quick because something um, struck me. For, and I'm going to read verse 13 again. Bearing with one another, and if, ha if one has complained against the other, forgiving each other. Now, how often do we forgive each other? I mean, really, you think about what God did for us. God forgave all of the sins we've ever committed and all the ones we're going to commit because we're still going to commit sins because we are sinful creatures. We, the flesh is imperfect. He's forgiven us. He's forgiven, you know, everybody. So, if we want to be Christ-like, the best thing for us to do is follow His example and forgive. Forgive those who sinned against us. Forgive those who sin around us. Help, like we talked about the other day, help show them the light. We love you guys. Thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.